Epic Narratives. Today we're talking about change. Change for the better. Right, so we are revising. Revising means making your work, making your writing better. Editing, yeah, that's fixing your mistakes. We will do that. We're going to do that a bit later. Of course, if you find mistakes and you want to fix them, please do that. But we're going to go through the checklist a little bit later. But today we're going to do some revising. We are revising. So the first version of your story is done. Take a minute. Feel good about that. Your first version is done. So all writers revise. There's, I mean, I keep talking about J.K. Rowling. She's still changing things in Harry Potter, right? How many years has that been? 20? Yeah, so it's still changing. Writers keep revising. We are writers. We are going to revise. Some authors will say that writing is rewriting, right? We get the first version done, and then we go back and we make it better. Some students don't like to do that. I hope you're not one of them. So we are going to go back and do some rewriting. We're going to fix things to make them better. Now, we're not fixing mistakes right now because that's editing. We are adding things. We're taking things out. We're making our writing better, making it better. What are we making better? Our characters. Can we know our characters a little bit better? Can we have more details, those little things, like that, that description so that we can see it better, so we can feel what the characters are feeling? All right, so we are in week four, day one. We are revising character traits, details, and descriptions. So it says to fill in that from above. You've done this already. You know your character's name, your character's age, the hair color, all the likes, dislikes, three character traits. You know that stuff, right? So mine kind of looks like that. You've seen all of my information about Adam before. So now on this chart that is on today's work, how did I show this? Well, I showed his name by, as the narrator, I called Adam by name. He's 11 years old. How did I show that? Well, I told, I talked about his sixth grade mythology notebook. So we know he's in sixth grade. You know, might he be 12? He might be, but uh, his hair color is brown. Now, I didn't mention that. Uh, we know that he likes Harry Potter, and so I mentioned Slytherin. I mentioned Yoda as something else that he likes. Um, he dislikes being told what to do. How did I show that? Well, his dad, uh, he yells at his dad because he doesn't like being told what to do, and he gets mad when things are missing. So I added some of those things. Uh, his traits. He's responsible because he's doing his homework. He's going upstairs to do his homework. We know that he's loving because at the end he's sorry and he's missing his grandma. So you can see how I'm showing these character traits. So I need you to do that. You're going to fill in this chart. And how did you show those things? Now, you might have discovered some new traits. So switch them out. Cross one of the traits out. Maybe you discovered that your character has a different trait. How did you show those? So add some details and descriptions so that the reader can see your character, understand your character, know your character, right? I'd like you to do that now. Now we've talked about character, the steel chart. So make sure you're doing those things, right? So you're making your character better. Uh, actually, let's go on. Do the same thing with the setting, right? So we're, the setting is the where and the when. Talked about some, maybe added some other things. I filled in my setting. It's an old house in Minnesota in the present time. So how did I show this? This is what you're going to put on your chart. Right? So where? In his old house. Two stories. How did I show that? Because he arrives home. He goes upstairs. Now, Minnesota was not mentioned. Present time. How do I show that? Well, he has a computer and a modern chair. He has modern books. Slytherin backpack. Um, I mentioned that his, he's with his family, and so I talk about those people during the story. So I want you to do that too. In this chart, you're going to think about how did you show these things? Now, here's the thing. If you didn't show those things, go back and do it. Go back and add so that your reader can see your setting. Understand the setting. They can know the setting. When is it? Where is it? Those are the things that we're doing. We're making our 
readers understand our characters, understand our setting, be able to see it better. So we're going to take some time and do both of those parts about your character and about your setting. We are revising to show those things. I could say he's an 11 year old. But wouldn't it be more interesting to say last year in fifth grade, he had an awesome teacher. That's more like a story. Or I could say he pulled out a sixth grade math book. Now we know what grade he's in. Right. I could say he's mad. But that's kind of boring. What if his eyes grew wide and he took in a lot of air, knowing that he was about to scream? He slammed the door yelling, it's not fair. We don't have to say he was mad. We just showed it. What about saying his bedroom was nice? Eh, kind of boring. What about his room reminded him of the Hogwarts library with so many old books on a wall filled with shelves. Wow, that's a much better description than saying his bedroom was nice. Now we can see it. So we have some indirect information by saying, you know, he pulled out his sixth grade math book. Indirectly, we're telling his age. We have some actions that he's taken to show his emotions. And we have a comparison, comparing his room to the Hogwarts library. You can do that in your writing. Use some strong adjectives. We've got a great chart here for you. Use some of those words. Find more. All right. Are you done? Well, did you review your character description and traits? And you made sure that you showed each part and more in the text of your narrative using steel. Did you review the setting and made sure that you showed the setting through description and details? And you made your narrative better because you added details and description that let the reader see and feel what is happening. All right. Then you made, it. you made some change for the better. Epic Narratives